hello everyone uh, welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game so today i'm going to address i'm going to show you a problem that have been bugging me for a long time so this is the problem so when i these are the my current attack animations and as you can see none of those animations involve any root motion component so the reason for that is yeah actually i wanted to try this one uh, this animation so this animation involves a root motion and without that well let's see so i have imported that animation into unreal and this one right this one and with this i have created just like these other attack montages uh, with this i have created an animation montage for the attackings and I'll show you what happens when I apply this animation montage for the attacks. So I have defined my attack animation montages in the weapon. These are the regular attacks. So for the first one, I'll just replace uh, that animation. Oh, where is that? jump yeah this one so this would be the first animation montage the when I attack so I'll show you right and yeah the character goes forward and then comes back so I'll enable the capsule component so that you can clearly see what's going on i'll keep the capsule component visible select the capsule and disable this hidden in game and compile and yeah now let's attack again as you can see this capsule stays in the same place and only the mesh component is moving forward according to the animation and this is the problem I'll show you this animation again with the skeleton selected and he actually I tried to uh, by changing the default mix arm or rig I added some bones and it is kind of messed up at the moment because I tried to achieve what I wanted and fix this problem but it is not fixed yet so yeah this is what happens my main route also going with the character but and for this kind of a problem what we should have done is enabling the root motion so when I enable the root motion the capsule component will be keep will kept attached to the mesh and it will follow the mesh according to the animation so let's try that out where is yeah it is and that should be available in the animation settings right here let's enable root motion and now let's see what happens okay let's attack okay something happened and my capsule is still attached to the character but to the mesh but uh, now as you can see it is kind of slanted and messed up 
so this is the problem I am having when I try to enable root motion with make some more animations okay so yeah so now I think you have a clear explanation on what's going on and what's wrong so I'm going to fix this so for that well actually I have selected uh, this is not the changed uh, character rig this is the default character rig, rig from Mixamo and I have selected this Knight D Pellegrini um, character so right I'm going to download this animation okay it is downloaded and I'm going to add a root bone uh, to that character actually I'm not uh, I'm not very familiar with this Maya I, I, in fact I only learned Maya today only for this purpose I don't know much about what these all the tools does or anything so I got help of my one of my good friends from the office and he told me how to do this so right so here I can drag and drop that downloaded model into Maya and yeah now we have this with the animation so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this mode to rigging and enable this press this x-ray joints icon so that I can see the joints and I'm gonna select this one and go to the first frame first I'm going to reset this into the bind pose so I can do it like this keep the right mouse button pressed until you get this menu and select hierarchy and here select this press this and select all these rotations and press 0 right now I'm going to add a new bone to the hierarchy Where's the middle of this? Yeah, so like this go to skeleton and create joint, and here in the middle keep uh, X pressed so that it will be snapped to the grid and press so here now I have another bone so select this select tool again and zoom out wait wait zoom out and again select this hip bone and then go here and shift select this one and press P so that it will be parented to the other bone hip bone and well I'll select this again and change this to root right now zoom out and let's see how our animation works yeah now as you can see 
this uh, root bone stays in the same place while all the other bones do the work so this is also not going to work so I need to I need to change the horizontal movement of this character horizontal or the X Y plane movement of the character through this root bone and only the Z movement or the vertical movement through the hip bone so that I can move my capsule along with the mesh using root motion right so how can I do that well for that I'm gonna have to open the animation graph where is yeah here so here I have the animation graph and let me select the hip bone and here select translate X and translate Z and select them all and control C to copy and then delete so now when I play the animation it would be like this there is no XY plane movement only the vertical movement is applied so now again I'm going to select this bone the root bone and control V paste oh, wait I got only X component let's check no that's let me undo it okay I got X and Z select all control C or to be safe I'll go here and copy and again select the root and let's select this one and control this one and paste here and paste wait not again not hips root right it worked so yeah now now the problem is I didn't uh, after undoing I didn't delete the XY moment XY keys of the hip so this character is now moving double so let's select the hip again that's not the hip right and then delete these keys okay now I'll put aside this graph editor and now let's see the animation right now it's working perfectly and also let I'll select the root bone so that you can see what's going on so root bone also moves with the character but only on the XY plane its vertical position remains the same okay so that's what I needed and yeah so my next uh, step is importing this rig and the animation into Unreal and playing this animation with root motion enabled. enabled. So, but uh, uh, it it would take some time because uh, I have to because this rig 
is different the root bond name is root and there is hip bone and the one and the current skeleton that I already have in my human is a bit different to that so therefore I'm gonna have to replace that skeleton with this skeleton and it involves some work but uh, since this video will make it longer so therefore I will do that I will show you how to do that in tomorrow's episode as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me also if you like to support my work you can go to patreon.com code like me and you can join my patreon club and depending on the tier you join you will have different privileges so like access to code i will show the i will post screenshots of my blueprints and other animation stuff and everything i will post there and yeah so right see you in the next episode goodbye